So up to this point, you've learned about SALTs, and we have talked briefly about, at least in the objectives of this unit, that soils can be classified as saline, as sodic, saline sodic, or normal. And so what I want to do first is walk you through how we characterize salinity or the total amount of total dissolved salts in a soil. So it's not just sodium chloride, it's all the salts. So what we do is we use a measure of electrical conductivity. And oftentimes it's expressed in two different ways. It's expressed as EC with a subscript SE, which means that the electrical conductivity was measured in a saturated paste extract or saturated extract. Okay, the saturated extract, if you've never made one of these before, it's like making brownie mix with soil. You take, oh, it doesn't matter how much soil you use. Well, it kind of does. You want to use probably at least 20 grams, maybe more. Uh, you take maybe 100 grams of soil and you put it in a beaker or a container and then you slowly add uh, deionized water and stir until you have the consistency of brownie mix. And it's it, the surface will glisten, it looks wet, and if you flip the beaker upside down, there's no water that drips out and the soil doesn't fall out. Okay, and then when you stir the beaker full of this wet soil, this saturated paste, when you stir it, the crack behind the implement that you're using to stir, stir stick, the crack fills in immediately. And this is a, this is the classic way of making a saturated paste extract. And what we do is we let this sit overnight for the salts to dissolve and go into the water. And then we pull a vacuum and we filter the extract and we collect the water and measure the electrical conductivity on that extract. There is another way to do this, which is easier, and it's a one-to-one -one soil to water extract. So one part soil to one part water, which gets you close to the saturated paste extract. It's likely, it's actually a little bit more water than the saturated paste extract, but it's easier to do, right? So it's very simple to train somebody to weigh up 50 grams of soil and add 50 mils of water and then shake for two hours and then filter and measure electrical conductivity for the amount of total dissolved salts or dissolved salts in the soil. The units that we use are millimoles per centimeter, right? So they're usually, sometimes there's an S after MMHO, sometimes there's not. Just depends on the lab and the convention that the lab is using, but they're both the same unit. That's the English unit. And oftentimes when you see electrical conductivity from a soil test from a lab, you'll see it expressed in millimoles per centimeter. If you are a geeky scientist like myself, you will use the SI units, which are deci siemens per meter. And they equal one another, which is really, really nice when you want to go from English to metric. They're the same um, in terms of if you had one millimo per centimeter, you would have one deci semen per meter. And the units are goofy. All right. So the units are a measure of conductance or how easy it is to pass electricity from one electrode to another electrode. And it depends on the amount of salt that's in the solution between the two electrodes. It's conduction or conductance, and that's simply the inverse of resistance. And resistance is actually ohms. So this is why the the term or the unit is flipped. It's not ohms, it's mos, or in our case, it's millimoles. I'm not expecting you to memorize that or even remember that. It's just, uh, it's interesting. So we oftentimes measure electrical conductivity to give us an indication of how much salt. It doesn't tell you the types of salts that are present, but it tells you how much. You can also measure total dissolved salts or total soluble salts. And this is also determined by analyzing the saturated paste extract. And you then analyze the extract for those elements that are present. Right, so you would analyze the extract for sodium, calcium, magnesium, and potassium, and you likely would analyze the extract for chloride, sulfate, 
and sometimes carbonate or bicarbonate. They're all measured in parts per million. And you could do this. However, most people, when they're measuring salt, they'll measure simply electrical conductivity. And there's actually a nice and relatively simple conversion factor between electrical conductivity and total dissolved salts. And it's simply 640 times the electrical conductivity of the saturated paste extract, or you could also use the one-to-one, -one, and that will tell you roughly the total dissolved salts. There's a the factor, the conversion factor of 640 fluctuates depending on the soil type, and it ranges somewhere between 640 and 700, depending on whether it's uh, you know sandy or fine textured soil. I'm not expecting you to memorize any of that as well, but you should know that you can characterize salinity or the amount of all the dissolve, dissolved salts in a soil using either electrical conductivity or total dissolved salts. And oftentimes it's electrical conductivity.